this video, I found out how to record a group video call from Discord in OBS. Coming up. So first of all, you need to, in your Discord, go to settings, go to general, and disable hardware acceleration. I'll explain later why. Then you need to go to your group chat, or DM, and add the people that you want to be in the voice call. And you wait for everyone to actually call you. Hello darkness, my old friend. Or you can call them and they will pick up. Once you've added the people and they're in the call, you then want to full screen your call so it shows everyone on the call clearly and nothing else is around it. If you can have another screen to actually put your Discord on, that would make life much easier, but if you don't, then you want to open up OBS. I'm using Streamlabs OBS, so it might look a little bit different than what you're seeing, but most of the things, especially the lower panel, is the same. In that lower main panel, you want to go to Sources. What you want to do is you want to add and go into Window Capture. So the reason you're using Window Capture, I find it easier, it's up to you. You can use Display Capture, which shows the full display. I just think it's a bit smoother and easier. Window capture is the reason why you're turning the hardware acceleration off on your Discord. Because otherwise, you'll just get a black screen and it'll just be like, what? <sighs> so when you do create your window capture, you need to make sure that you are ticking add a new source instead. Because if you've already got one created and you just recreate that, it's it's gonna cause issues further down because they uh, just will. So you name your new source. Um, I found it easier to if you name them all the different areas. So top left um, camera. Then you go into your window, select options, and you select your Discord uh, .exe. You can then pick from select options, which is Windows um, title must match. That's just a preference. It doesn't really matter. That will then show the entire screen of your Discord window. You want to enlarge it fully so it covers the full screen. And then we create three more exactly in the same, naming them all the different areas that we want to play. So top right, bottom left, bottom right. This just then makes it easier to know what you're actually doing and what is it, what camera you are actually capturing. Once we've created all of them, we then need to go into filters, select crop and or pad, and then name that filter to match whatever section it is. This doesn't matter, this is personally preference, but it just makes life easier, I found. This is where it gets slightly complicated. Oh, not really. So on the padding on the top, you've got 65 pixels, and the bottom you've got 65 pixels on your main window. On both of us, on both left and right sides, you've also got 115 pixels and 115 pixels on the right. Just depends on what size screen you've got. Mine's 1080p, so they're 1920 by 1080. Then all that will do is just get rid of the the black border on the side. We'll still be left with all four, and then this is where we need to actually pick each section using each filter on each different window capture. But it's quite simple to be able to get your dimensions that you need for each section. What you need to do is work out the size of your screen, seeing as we've gone full screen. My screen is 1920 by 1080. So by having 1920 by 1080, you're left with 960 and, uh, 960 and 540 window of each different four sections. So then you need to work out how to then position for each different section. So let's go with top left. Now top left, left would be 117 pixels, as I said, to keep the width of the border. Again, top is 65 pixels. Then we need to work out how to move in and up. It's quite simple, really. You're then taking the calculation of the other window to the other side, to the right hand side and the bottom left so we know 540 and 960 is the correct dimensions but if we want to give it a little bit more padding what we do is we take and we add 10 more to that so 970 moves it all the way across and then 550 moves it up to make just the one square these are the same calculations for all the different sections when you're doing a four square grid. 
obviously you need to then work out the rest of them for all the different areas and then you will be left with a grid of four windows with four different cameras and four different people or as i've done all myself <laughs> oh, darkness, my old friend. No. if you have any questions on this please let me know in the comments down below any questions i'll try and answer them why not take a look at this next video that's been auto-generated by YouTube? It should be good. They suggested it.